I ain't want nothing to do with Muslims. But one day I was like, you know what, man? This dude ain't gonna stop calling me until I go to that mad shit. I want this dude to stop calling me. This was my intention. I said, you know what? I'm coming to the mad shit today. I called the homies. I remember I went up, and he said it. I went up there about 30 deep. 30 deep, had my gun on me, because I ain't know what, I, I ain't trust none of them jokers. I thought, man, it was crazy. I said, I'm going up there with my gun. And it was in South Central LA. I remember pulling up my Lexus. And I sat, I remember people coming in on bikes, people walking in the mad shit. And I'm thinking like, wait a minute, these people don't look like they have the money I have, but they look, everyone look happy. Some of these people don't even have vehicles, don't even have cars. But I'm like, why the hell is they smiling? I'm envy because I have houses, I had money, I had jewelry, but in my, house, in my, in my side, inside of me, I was conflicted, I was unhappy. So I said, you know what, let me go inside the mad shit. I walked inside of the mosque and I seen people embracing me. How's everything? Embracing, embracing each other, salam alaikum, hugging each other. And I'm just paying attention. I'm like, man, this is awkward. You know what I mean? They, they showing love to each other. Prayer time came. And the brother was like, you should pray with us. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't know how to pray, man. He like, no, nah. he was forceful, like pushing me. Like, just pray with us, whatever. You know what I mean? You see us do, you do. But when you put your face on the floor, you praying to God, whatever you want, ask God. So I went, on, I went ahead and I joined them in prayer. And I put my face on the floor and I remember the prayer that I made was, Oh God, just guide me to a way of life that's going to bring me happiness. That's all I wanted at that particular time was happiness. Because I had the money, I had the cars, I had the fame, but I didn't have any happiness. I didn't have no tranquility, I didn't have any peace. So I made that prayer, God, just guide me to a way of life that's going to bring me happiness. And after the prayer... The brother gave me literature, English translation of Quran. He gave me some literature of the religion of Islam. I drove home and I just couldn't stop reading. You know, I grew up, my grandmother was like hardcore Christian. Like she was a good woman, but she was serious with her religion. So she used to sit around, read the Bible all day, force us to go to church. And she used to say names like David and Isaac, Jacob, Abraham. So I remember reading the pamphlets of the religion of Islam and I'm reading these names that they are prophets of God. I'm like, damn, these are names that my grandmother used to teach me about. And then when it got to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it started explaining that he was the last messenger and the last prophet of God. And I started to read, the more that I read, the more that it was clear to me that the reason why I, was, I wasn't happy is because I didn't know my purpose of life. And as I mentioned earlier, Allah says in the Quran that he created mankind and jinn to worship him. And when we mean worship him, it doesn't mean that, like I said, we pray to him 24-7, we don't live our life. No, worship him in everything we do. The way we treat our parents, the way we treat ourselves, the, what, the food that we put in our bodies, all of this is worship. The, the way that we make our money, this is worship. You understand? The way everything the Muslim do in our life is going to be for us or against us. And I started realizing the way that I was living my life, the reason why I was happy, because I was, fur I was a, the furthest away from this. And I called the brother, I said, you know what, I need this in my life. I need to accept this religion of Islam because it was clear to me. It was clear to me that I wasn't praying and, and worshiping my creator, so this is why I wasn't happy. So after accepting the religion of Islam, I started to realize it was like a veil was lifted over my eyes.